Hi, my name is Raju Singh. So today on the 4th of January, I'm making this video. Today we will try to understand, we will memorize, we will try to have a knowledge regarding some kind of a date because we are going to discuss which is going to help to improvise, to enhance our IQ. Obviously it is going to help in our general competition, either it may be SSC, UPSC or general competition or some kind of quiz at a school level. So we already had a discussion on a state which is known as Andhra Pradesh. So we are on a playlist basically which we are going to discuss something related to know your state, know your Indian state. We would be following a sequential manner. We had a brief discussion on Andhra Pradesh. So now we'll be discussing or having a discussion related to Arunachal Pradesh, right? And the second in the list basically after Andhra Pradesh is Arunachal Pradesh. You will come to know a lot of stuff regarding this Arunachal Pradesh. And this is a state which has a lot of potential to explore within itself. But in this video also, you will have a too basic, too shocking information regarding Arunachal Pradesh. I believe you might have or you don't have the knowledge regarding the which village is the easternmost village located in our country. So let's try to understand, ready to rock. We will try to have a knowledge regarding the Arunachal Pradesh. Let's so on the continuing the video, Arunachal Pradesh, it is the 14th largest state in our country with the, having the capital known as Ita Nagar is the capital of Arunachal Pradesh. Prema Kundu is the CM, Chief Minister basically. At present, Arunachal Pradesh is having BGP government in the state, right? We have a deputy CM in Arunachal Pradesh also, which is known as Mr. Chaunin, right? Apart from that, central government always used to appoint governor in state. So similarly, in Arunachal Pradesh also, we have a governor, which is known as BD Misra. He has been appointed by the central government or we can say India government. And you, you would be surprised by knowing this information that in Arunachal Pradesh is among the only two states in our country who is having English as the official language. Okay. If we talk about in terms of population, we have a state such as West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh, who is having more than population of crore, 7 crore, 8 crore, 20 crore, 18 crores even. But shockingly and surprisingly, Arunachal Pradesh has the population of only 1.53 million. To be accurate in the count, it is known for so momos and lupta are the famous fruits of food actually, which is being taken or consumed by the people of Arunachal Pradesh. It is widespread and famous across the country also. Let's talk about something related to state. So Mithun animal or gael is known as the state animal of Arunachal Pradesh. Hornbill is known as state bird of Arunachal Pradesh. Foxtail you might have heard. It is a state flower of Arunachal Pradesh. It has been formed 20th February 1987. So basically Arunachal Pradesh has its birthday on 20th Feb, which started or stabilized on 1987. Previously, it was known as NEFA, Northern Eastern Alliance, basically, or you can say NEFA, basically. And you would be having a detailed knowledge regarding some kind of incident or Arunachal Pradesh is well known and famous for something known as, it is known as for the land of rising sun. Yes, Arunachal Pradesh is known as land of rising sun, largest state in the northeast so Arunachal Pradesh is the largest state entire among the seven sisters of seven states in the northeastern part. We would be you would, till now I believe you might heard or feel that Rajasthan or Gujarat or Punjab or Jammu and Kashmir had the longest running international border. But no, Arunachal Pradesh had the longest running international border. It shares its international border with more than three countries. Obviously, it includes China and Myanmar too. Now let's try to understand easternmost state. I told you Arunachal Pradesh is the easternmost state. Arunachal Pradesh is having the easternmost villages also located in Arunachal Pradesh. It is known as land of dawn, right mountain. And in Arunachal Pradesh, it's if you are Indian also, right? But if you are not from Arunachal Pradesh, if you are not proper Arunachal Pradesh cities, uh, people or local, then you would, you might and you actually would need a tourist, a permit for a tourist even, right? And it has, it is a home for all more four major cat. It's a home of actually, it's an Arunachal Pradesh share or basically it has 26 tribes, more than 100 sub tribes. So these are the basic knowledge, shocking knowledge regarding Arunachal Pradesh. But if we take a dive in, in the Arunachal Pradesh history, then it was earlier known as NEFA, which I told you during the British rule. And this state was formed actually after signing a Sino or you can say Simla Corp in 1913 to 1914. This was signed between three parties. The first one was obviously the 
Arunachal Pradesh you can tell or any few of them. Second one was the Tibetan and third one was Britisher. So either you can say the Tibetan or part or mainly we can consider as a Chinese representative and Tibetan and the Britishers were the three alliances which signed Simla Accord in 1930-1914. And the first of the historical, we have some kind of a historical monument in, Ar in Arunachal Pradesh also which is located over there. Right. So what are there in Tawang, right? Tawang is a basically a district which is well known or famous. It has been discussed nowadays just because of recent uh, incident which happened between India and China. So we have a historical landmark and it's a kind of a war memorial in Tawang, Arunachal Pradesh. Right. If we take a dive in Arunachal culture, so Pursura, right? If we talk about according to Hindu mythology, it's very famous personality or it is being considered as a god also. So Pursura, Kun is located in Lohiyat in Arunachal Pradesh. Linguistically, if we talk about linguistics, it's a very rich, I would say, rather than richest state in our country if it, in terms of linguistics. Why it is so? Because Arunachal Pradesh being home of at least 50 distinct language and more dialects are being spoken here. Right? So Arunachal is home of the what? You come to know regarding this thing. So Arunachal is the home of the ancient temple which runs at the Manasan construction in the 10th century. So it has a well-known famous structure also, wave of which relate itself related to history. So Arunachal Pradesh is a state, one of the state of the having the highest, largest rainfall in the year. So Arunachal Pradesh is the state with the highest rainfall in that particular region if we talk about house or the second highest mountain peak in the world is the house of Arunachal Pradesh. The Aptani women, Aptani women is actually well known for famous for their personality or their beauty, nature, right? But they are stabilized in Arunachal Pradesh only. The, the famous culture, tradition which they follow. If we talk about in terms of religion segregation, so Arunachal Pradesh is a Christian majority state. 30.26% are the follower of Christianity followed by the Hinduism 29%, followed by the Buddhist 11.7% and other remaining other, right? So this was the religion segmentation of Arunachal Pradesh. If we talk about today's current scenario, right? Sex ratio of Arunachal Pradesh is not too good. It needs to be improvised. Arunachal Pradesh has 938 women for every thousand men. And after sex ratio, if we talk about literacy rate, the literacy rate in Arunachal Pradesh is 65%. 65.38 to be accurate and GDP per capita income needs to be improved if we talk about 2021 or 2021 to 2022. It was near around 1.68 lakh. It needs to be improvised if we talk about in some GDP. And let's discuss some kind of a famous personality though Arunachal Pradesh are many. But if we talk about mountainers, Tapimira, Anshu, Samshepa, they were the famous mountainer whose hometown was Arunachal Pradesh. Social activities such as Bhimi Yagna, he actually there are from Arunachal Pradesh. If we talk about political, right? Political, how can anyone or forget about the Kiran Rijiju is basically based in Arunachal Pradesh. So Arunachal Pradesh has a lot of potential to grow within itself. So I believe and I understand that you came to know a lot of stuff regarding Arunachal Pradesh. It will definitely help you to grow your knowledge, to improvise your knowledge. Again, after this video, I will be coming with the next topic which is related to Assam and coming back to Bihar which will be followed and it will help you in every kind of examination. So thank you for giving your time and I hope you understand something. It will definitely help you. Do like, share, comment and subscribe. Jai Hind. Goodbye.